everyone, so today I'm doing the May edition of Glossy Box. So it's just arrived now. I've had a quick look at the stuff and I'm going to get straight into it and show you. So, Outer Box is just the usual one and I knew straight away that it was going to be something a little bit better than normal, or hopefully, because it's their two year anniversary. So, well, it's their like birthday. So, taking the lid off, we've got this like massive piece of paper that they're doing now um i don't know i kind of prefer the card to be honest but you know there it is there and on the inside it just says about it's glossy box office uh is buzzing the birthday cheer blah 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 it's hard to believe it's two years i didn't actually get it from the start i got the second box in and i've been subscribed since then um which is a shame because i know that the nars products came in the first box but never mind it's about this box so um I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but like this is like a neon pink ribbon, so it's a little bit different. It's got the two there, it's got little bits of like presents and things um, pictured on the tissue. And I know this sounds random, and if you've got this box, you probably wouldn't agree with me, but when I opened this box, I thought it smells like peanut butter. I don't know, I don't know, but it does, I feel like it smells like peanut butter, this box. Um, there's nothing peanut butter in it. So there's the products there. So I'll get straight into it and tell you what the first one was. So the first one is this by, some people say Givenchy, Givenchy, whatever you want to say. But this is the first one. So it's the Noir Couture One Mascara for Facets. So it kind of says on the information that it's a multitasker if we ever saw one. This mascara not only creates instant volume, length and curl, but it's last Lash Booster Expert Complex, an exclusive Givenchy Givenchy um, complex of active ingredients ensures it nourishes your lashes at the same time. Actually, I'm going to open this now so you can have a look at what it's like. Okay, there it is there. And there's the bristles. Um, hmm, well... It's kind of interesting i definitely will try this out and obviously i'll let you know i've actually tried a couple of m mascara samples out recently so i'll be doing them in a video at some point but i'm definitely excited to try that out i've not tried anything out from that brand before so the next one is by hmm yeah it says prime on the card which is uh p-r-e-m-a-e -E, harmony balm and it's moisturising cream balm with aloe vera butter. It says that they love it because it's this is the Glossy Box team. Um, it's definition of a multitasker, functioning both as skin protection and a primer. Leaves the skin feeling silky and dewy. I opened this up as soon as I got the box. I'm just going to open it up and see if you can see. This kind of has got a bit of a weird texture. I suppose it's like maybe a little bit silicone-y, I don't know. But um. It kind of, it's like matte almost. You really probably can't see here. I'm just going to move the lamp further in and see if it gives you any better a look. But there it is there. If I put it on the skin, it kind of goes on matte. I hope you can see that. So I'm interested to try it out. Um, I've been at the moment being a bit obsessed with kind of dewiness sort of look. So if this adds that and um, gives like a dewy finish, then that's exactly what I've been going for anyway. So I'm excited for this. Apologies, the mascara full size was twenty two fifty, and this one is twenty six fifty for thirty mils. This one I've got here is ten mils, so that worked out to eight pound thirty three. I didn't work that out at the top of my head. I did use a calculator, I'm not going to lie. But that's that there. The next item is this little tiny sample. I think this was like 2 grams or something. Yeah, 2.5 grams. And it's by Beautiful Movements Cosmetics, which was formerly known as BM Beauty. I think for those of you that have either watched these videos for a while or been subscribed to the boxes know that this BM Beauty is always popping up so clearly they're trying to push their brand a lot further but this is a prime and create mixing medium and it says it's exciting new product launch and um, the girls at Glossy get the Glossy Girls love this um, and it just kind of goes on to say that the 
Pussycat Doll Kimberly Wyatt range of beauty must have is a clear aloe vera based gel. Um, clean, cream foundation, where it can be turned into a cream foundation, blush, eyeshadow, um, for all skin types. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it's a primer. Uh, so, not that excited about that. I don't know if you can tell by me talking, but yeah. That full size, by the way, is 20 grams and that's 20 pounds. So it's like £2.50 worth of product there. The next one's going to be probably hard to see as it's kind of like a glass bottle that's see-through. Um, maybe if I hold it like this. No. But it's the Cordially Divine Oil. And the information says that it's a ultimate beauty elixir for your body, face, hair. It'll be sure to turn you to the cordially and a cordially convert in no time. This hard working dry oil is both light and super hydrating. It's unique blend of grape hibiscus, so hibiscus and sesame and argan oils uh, immediately absorbed into the skin with a non greasy finish. So actually I've kind of opened this up but I've already forgotten what it smells like. It's kind of not really too much of a scent, but it's kind of floral, really. Obviously with the hibiscus. But this is 15 mils. It's a really good size sample. I think I'm guessing that you can buy this as that price because it says it's £4 and 5 pence to be precise. But it's definitely a good amount. If it works well, then £4 amazing. But if you can buy it in this size. But that's kind of all good. And I'm excited to try that out. Because there's a lot of people that rave about Causally. And their skincare line. And I've tried their beauty spray. The one that everyone talks about. That's to be spoken about in another video. But I'm excited for this one anyway. Then after that we've got uh, Nails Ink in Portobello. So it's a little miniature. This is like the 4ml version. And as you can see, hopefully, it's a really bright orange. Maybe it's a little bit corally, but it's generally just an orange. Cream shade, no shimmer. And it just kind of says it's a traffic stopping shade from one of the world's most iconic brands, Nails Inc. Um, it's a neon shade named after the li uh, Liverpool. That's automatic, isn't it? London's most pop most buzzing location. I can't seem to talk today, apologies. The full size is 10 mils, so obviously this is just short of half that, and that's £11, so we're talking that this is like worth £5-ish. So that is the box, but there are some extras. So this one is Glossy Box's own, and these are like little mini files. I'll open it up and show you. There it is there, and if I open that up, you can see it's got quite a few files there quite a lot so you just break them up honestly I don't know if I'm really going to use these I don't I don't even keep nail files kind of on me when I'm out and about which is crazy given the job that I do but and everyone expects me to have one on me but maybe I will kind of carry these around just in case you do catch your nails or whatever it's good to not be able to scratch anywhere and file them nicely um but you know that's that doesn't kind of say a price because obviously you probably can't buy these and I prefer if they didn't lie to me and tell me they were like a tenner. Um, and then the other one, which isn't mentioned, which is definitely a favourite of mine, is the Green and Black's Organic Dark 70% Chocolate. So that's a nice little extra. That's, um, I don't know, I think it's nice to add stuff in. I get annoyed when they kind of use this as one of the products but if it's an added extra I'm definitely happy about it so overall I'm delighted with the box I'm delighted with this Givenchy Givenchy whoever um just because I've not tried that brand before the Cordley product really excited about that the overall way that I always think about these boxes is as long as they were worth the price that I paid, which was like £13. And generally, this is definitely worth it. This £4, that £5. So there's nine. Um, what else did I work out? Oh, that was it. This, which was worth like £8. So that's kind of beating the price of the box as it is so overall very excited if you got this box let me know what you think if you do this video leave it as a video response don't forget to like subscribe follow me on twitter i'm always on there and i'll see you in the next video